Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be looking at the balance changes, which I believe need to happen within the next set of balance changes. So it's going to be around five buffs and a uh, five nerfs as always. So before we get into today's video, make sure you're using the credit code in the shop. That'd be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's jump straight. All right, guys, so starting off with the brawlers, which I believe deserve the buff the most. It's going to be starting off with Squeak. So Squeak. Uh, obviously, when it was first released, everyone thought it was going to be super, super strong. It was quickly evident that Squeak was a really weak brawler. And right now, currently, he sits in the bottom five brawlers in the meta. So with Squeak, there can be a few ways to buff him. But to be honest, again, I always say this. You've got to be really careful with how you actually buff him because his mechanics can be super annoying. So for me, I feel like his shots are a little bit too delayed. A lot of the times, uh, I'll just end up trading with the opponent. Even if I manage to get a kill somehow, uh, most of the time, I'm just going to trade my life, which obviously isn't really the best uh, when you're trying to keep control. Uh, also, I think the main point about him is his super, right? His super is only good against... Uh, objects that aren't moving so like the high safe the ike and the robot it's sort of really good against that i never really seem to hit a single person with my super so probably a mechanic change with a super will be able to bring him back into the metal all right guys so going into the next brawler which i believe needs a buff of the most is going to be jackie so jackie uh unlike other tanks inside of a meta she hasn't received any sort of a buff if anything she actually got a nerf because of her star power and also like the other tanks got buffs or they got like indirect buffs jackie at the moment probably one of the worst brawlers inside of a game i never see her in play at the moment she's just too squishy for a tank her super as well that is the main reason why i believe she's not uh, too strong in the meta i think her super is probably the worst in the game i think by buffing this super somehow maybe like increasing the radius maybe by increasing her shield when she uses a super or something like that something needs to be done about jackie because she's just terrible right every single tank is better than her and even the squishy your brothers like the bees and mr peas honestly can have an easier time taking down jackie all right guys so going into the next brother which i believe it deserves a buff the most it is going to be bow so the main reason for this is because bow basically gets like a zero percent uh competitive use rate there's not many brothers right now in the meta uh which i believe don't really get picked often and bow definitely is one of them i think the only map he's really viable on right now is snake prairie uh, his totem recently got a rework so i think his base stats can get uh, some sort of buff probably deserves a bit more damage a bit more hp or something like that like bow right now just really lackluster and one of the worst brawlers inside of a game all right guys so now moving into the next brawler which i believe deserves a buff the most it is daryl so daryl he hasn't been meta for such a long time now i think it's been well over a year since he's even been considered in any type of meta he was only really good in heist before and as i said it's been like a year where i've seen uh, daryl even be used in again all the other tanks have a better purpose than him i basically never ever see him used inside of scrims anymore i've never seen him inside a competitive he's just pretty much dead inside of a meta so i believe daryl probably deserves some sort of hp buff uh, i think again the tank other tanks are just so much better his super is actually really really strong you obviously can't give him that trait uh, which allows him to charge his super even faster because he was, he's already got an automatic uh charging super right but i think he has the potential to be a really strong brawler he just needs a few buffs but i think the hp buff will be a good start to get him back into the map. all right guys so moving into the final brawler which i believe deserves the buff the most it is mr p so obviously i just want to reiterate again uh, that I don't want Mr. P to be like one of the strongest brawlers in the meta. Everyone kind of hates those uh, metas when he's one of the strongest. But right now, Mr. P is probably a bomb five brawler inside of the meta. I never really see him used too much inside of competitive. He kind of probably is a little bit underrated because he can still counter brawlers like Jean and B who are quite strong in the meta. But other than that, he's just not really the strongest. There's just too many tanks and he just doesn't do enough damage. Uh, his gadget's not really in the best place right now. And yeah, there's not much really to Mr. P at the moment. Probably only a slight buff, probably even just like a HP buff to allow him to uh, tank a little bit more. Allows was uh, a bit more pressure, but yeah, Mr. P just not really in the best place in the meta right now. All right, guys, so now moving into the nerfs. So starting off with more than likely the most strong brawler currently inside of a meta, it is Stu. So Stu right now, if you've not realized, is absolutely crazy broken. Ever since the introduction of his new gadget as well, He's even more broken. Everyone in the community right now is crying out for an emergency nerf to this gadget. So this gadget is completely broken. Uh, you can literally get your free super, break for a rule, uh, a wall, and obviously 
that can be really really strong especially on certain maps you're just going to open up the map and allow Stu to wreck even more his gas heal as well is in desperate need of a nerf the survivability on this brawler is insane and especially when you can keep chaining your supers over and over again Stu just feels like he never dies and because of his super just being able uh, to move in the map move around the map so fast it's just hard to take down Stu. so I feel like he needs a gas heal nerf for sure. He just survives for way too long. And that gadget is just way too strong. Stu, he has been one of the best brawlers in the meta ever since his release. All right, guys. So moving into the next brawler, which I believe it deserves a nerf. Even though he's only just became usable, it is El Primo. So obviously, it's kind of fun El Primo being a little bit meta, uh, considering he's been one of the worst brawlers, if not the worst brawler inside of meta for like way over a year now. But his mechanics are just too strong, right? He gets his super from incoming damage and his super basically is the best in the game he can win every single 1v1 interaction with his super and even against a brawlers that hard counter him he can still do a decent job so i only believe he deserves a small nerf because his uh, mechanics are just way better than the other tanks so i believe he probably just needs like a super recharge rate nerfs probably allow him uh to get his super with more punches uh, that's probably the only change that is needed of El Primo, and I think he'll be fairly balanced. All right, guys, so moving into the next brawler, which I believe deserves a nerf the most, it is Bell. So just like Stu, Bell has been basically the best brawler inside of a game ever since her release. She's just so much better than the other sharpshooters. She's got the uh, ricocheting, uh, obviously, mechanic. She's got a really good range. Her reload speed is really strong. Her super is even stronger now, especially with the change in the mechanic where uh, every single bounce, it charges her super. I just think she's way too strong right now. She's got so many uh, different good aspects about her. Considering how long range she is, she's really, really strong in those close quarter combats. So I probably believe she deserves a nerf in uh, probably like the unload speed, just like how Ruffs changed in those short interactions. Ruffs used to shoot really, really fast, especially up close. So you could basically use them like a shotgunner. I think Bell deserves the same nerf as well because right, as a as a sharpshooter, you shouldn't be able to take down these brothers that fast. Also, uh, I believe she probably deserves another like mechanic nerf with the ricochet. And I think she should only ricochet like a couple of times or something like that. I'm not too sure how they can really nerf. Uh, bell uh, to not make her completely useless because uh, you know at the end of the day there's other long range brawlers as well that have better gadgets than her that can confirm kills a lot better but at the moment bell just seems untouchable in this metal all right guys so now moving on to probably my favorite brawler inside of a game it is gene so gene definitely is in need of a nerf i just feel like again he's just got too many uh, ways to be uh, not counterable there's not many brawlers right now that actually counter him right he just serves a purpose basically everywhere you even seen him a lot of times in competitive being used on lane he probably is the highest picked rate brawler in competitive right now just so many good things about him he's got star power which allows uh, your teammates to heal up uh, really well allow them to keep in the gunfight his super is probably one of the best in the game. His knockback can counter tanks. There's just too many good things about him, right? I probably think he only deserves like a small nerf. I think maybe like a HP nerf might be sufficient or a damage nerf. One of those nerfs would be enough to make him balanced. All right, guys, so moving on to the final nerf of the video. It might be a bit of a surprise to you guys, but it's rough. So Ruffs, again, ever since he was released, he serves too much purpose inside of the meta. Just the ability to give your teammates the power up and for them to carry. And his sandbag's probably the best gadget inside of a game. It's just such a hard kill for the majority of the part. I just think Ruffs is definitely in deserve of a nerf. I'm not too sure which avenue you'd really take with this. Let me know down in the comments below which you believe on this one. I probably just think uh, that his super, especially for his teammates, probably deserves some sort of like time limit, right? I think he should only be allowed to have an upgrade for like a minute uh, or something like that or it just slowly wears out over time. I'm not too sure, but I just feel like Ruffs, especially if you have like a really strong defensive combo, it's just way too strong. You can use both star powers, like the healing one, uh, well, the extra HP one can just be so strong in a defensive combination, especially on maps like parallel plays. And I just think his defensive play style uh, can be really, really strong at some points. And also, just a quick uh, few nerfs as well, which I believe uh, should come into the game. These are just like off ones as well. Uh, you've got the likes of Rico and Sandy. Didn't really want to mention that too much because uh, Rico hasn't been meta for a long time, but that gadget is just way too strong. I think you should probably nerf that one. And also, the Sandy stun gadget is so, so strong. So I think a lot of gadgets that came into the game are still probably a bit too strong. All right, guys, this is going to be it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know down in the comments section below what you think of my list. I might do an even more uh, intense one because balance changes are probably not really too far away. 
uh, because it's, it's been a while since we've got some sort of balance changes, especially with like the new gadgets coming out as well. They definitely need some adjustments. So let me know if you want to see any more balance changer videos in the future. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.